as you rightly said, day before yesterday, we said to you, is it going to be another 28 seconds? You said, I don't think so. Nearly, though. It just highlights what a crowd does. Yeah. And, you know, changing a few things up this winter has clearly worked. It's just, I didn't realise there was such a big step I could still make, which is really exciting for the outdoor season and what, what's to come. Um, that was just incredible. I'm still, like, hyped up now. I can see, I can see. I mean, even the last lap, you just had a big smile on your face. I mean, talk to me what was going through your mind. Yeah, smile grimace, but I focused on the smile. Tell me what was going through your mind on that last lap. Um, I suddenly realised just how far under the record I was and the, the buzz and the noise from the crowd. And I was like, I wish this last lap could last for about half an hour because it's just incredible. You come off that that final lap feeling you know on top of the world you feel like everybody's there supporting you and uh yeah thank you to them you looked in in really good form obviously you are um are you ahead of where you expected to be um yeah miles which is great because we thought you know last year went so well big step up at the olympic games how am i going to top that you know just more of the same just more training and as we say this is a chance now it's a new olympic cycle let's chase things up let's go to altitude in january let's see what that does and and you know I, going into december i didn't feel that fit i didn't feel like i was anywhere near where i was this time last year um, what, what a difference you know that's going to be a world lead and, and there's going to be a lot of people in the walking world going wow I, was say, um, I, I said it to you the other day but you are truly making walking sexy you do know this right it's, it's, it's the legs that's what it is. say no more say no more when did you get that tattoo did you have it before because i uh yeah i've had that a few months now um, and yeah, it's just, if that feels, that day still fills me with pride and I, but now I use it as like, right, that's the benchmark, you've got to go get better, you've got to perform for these guys who come out, pay for the tickets and, and cheer us on, for the volunteers who help make athletics what it is um, and, you know, if I can entertain these guys now, imagine if they turn out in London and make that sort of noise in August, the world champs are going to be exciting. Are you ready for your name to ring out the way it's going to ring out? Because it's going to, I mean, there's going to be a lot of people wanting to know who Tom Bosworth is, your story, how you got into this. Are you ready for that? Yeah, I, I am. We really wanted to promote race walking and put it out there. It's not just, you know, another random event that nobody knows much about or people say this or that about it. It's characters in the event, how it can be exciting and how many people can run 5K in 18 and a half minutes. And you've got to be a pretty decent runner. And so when they see me walking it, it's like new respect for it get people in at athletics clubs and and you know really it's a great event it's a great athletes that take part and uh, we can showcase it at places like this well it's no longer going to be shunted on the end of uh, on the end of uh, an event's calendar you know like the last event of the day and everybody's walking out it's not it's not going to happen no more everybody's going to be sitting in their seats waiting to see you you had a new mole as it were not sure it could go that far just well, I, I did yeah but uh, yeah Let's, let's bring it on, and I can't wait. I'm going to work hard, and, and it's going to be worth it. Listen, good luck. Earn that medal. Well done. Thank you very much.